everyone, happy Monday. Today is the first day of National Pet Appreciation Week. And I know I've talked about it a few times before, and I know I've gone over quite a few points or arguments that I have, but I just wanted to give you a little lowdown because I haven't been on in a little while. So, Pet Appreciation Week is to obviously show appreciation for your pets because a lot of times we take them for granted and they just bring so much extra joy and love to our lives that we really, a lot of times, don't give them enough credit for what they do. I know it isn't the same when I come home and Kaya doesn't greet me because it's that immediate feeling of somebody missed me and it, it's just so unconditional that I don't know what I'd do without her here. I really love having her around. Um, but there are other ways to show appreciation for your pet other than the basic giving them a treat or some extra rubs or taking them for a walk or riding them for an extra, you know, half an hour. A lot of times just spending time with them, doing what they want to do. And I know it's hard to get some spare time sometimes, but going on an extra long something or doing something that you don't really like doing but they like doing. Kaya loves mud puddles and I don't like it because I have to groom her after because from about her belly down she's white. So she always needs an extra clean and some nail trim and a brush. She's not really fond of it, but we give her lots of rubs and we play out in the backyard after and it's a nice little surprise for both of us. But I just, <laughs> I'm so grateful to have her in my life and I'm not the same person I was before I had her. So I just want to show a little love there. And I know that a lot of us would not be the same if it was not for our pets. A lot of them teach us so much. And Kai actually helped demonstrate something for my Reiki students on Saturday because we had some extra time. So we were going to do a group hands-on session with her, but she was not having it. And it was a very clear way to demonstrate that sometimes animals don't want hands-on sessions and you have to respect what they're asking for. So in that case, we couldn't do a hands-on session, but when we do level two, we'll give her the option of having a long distance treatment, or short, I guess, <laughs> in the backyard. But if she doesn't want it, then you can't give it to her. But a lot of parts of animal Reiki is learning to read the animals and respect what they want, which is really important. And that's, again, showing appreciation for them and everything that they stand for. So just a little love on this Monday. I'm not sure when the next live video is, but I am doing equine first aid on Sunday. And if you are interested in doing it all, feel free to send me a message. And I would love to see you there. I'm not teaching it, I'm just taking the class, but it's always nice to have some friendly faces there. Have a fantastic rest of your week, and I have to go off and see a client now. But enjoy the rest of your evening.